Today on our 2014 Chevrolet Cruze, we're going to be test fitting the Hollywood Racks Traveler, a tilting four bike rack for inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. It's part number HR8500. To begin our test fit, we'll slide the shank of the bike rack into the receiver tube of our hitch. We'll line up the pinholes, thread in our anti rattle bolt, tighten it down with a wrench, then we can secure it with the provided clip. With our rack in this position, we have about eight and a quarter inches worth of ground clearance. The closest point of the rack to the back of the cruise is about five inches. And overall, we've added about eight and three quarters of an inch to the vehicle. With our mast in its upright position, we do have access into the trunk. However, if we need extra room, we'll pull the black pin at the base of the rack and tilt it away from the vehicle. With our mast back in its upright position, we'll pull the black pin at the top of the mast. This will allow us to swing out our dual cradle arms. We'll reinsert the pin to secure them in place. As you can see here, with our arms extended, we've added about 34 inches to the length of the vehicle. We're now ready to load our bike. We'll undo our cradle straps. Grab our bike, place our bike into the cradles and secure it with the straps. Now with our bike all loaded up, we're gonna take it out on our test course and let you see what it looks like in action. We'll start with the slalom course. Then the alternating bumps. Then our solid bumps. Just like that, our bike's loaded up and we're ready to hit the road. That will complete today's test fit of the Hollywood Racks Traveler. Part number HR8500 on our 2014 Chevrolet Cruze.